Hey guys, what if I told you this $50 mass produced, super old school vintage glass will take your photography to the next level? It's the Helios 44M. This lens was made in the Soviet Union in the late 20th century. There's lots of versions of it. It was made in different factories and it's the most mass produced lens of all time. It's known for its swirly bokeh and really there's nothing like it in modern lenses. It's pretty sharp, but it's manual focused, manual aperture. So you're gonna have to work a little harder to get those sweet pictures. Now, since it was the most mass-produced lens of all time, you can find it for a good deal on eBay. I got my copy for $60 in its mint condition. And speaking of good deals, I would like to talk about my sponsor for this video today, Squarespace. Great deals on web hosting or whatever it is they do, Squarespace. Number one in their industry business thing. All right. So today we're going to do a little comparison this brand new old school vintage glass against this brand new new school vintage Canon Nifty 50. My two favorite lenses, 58 millimeter, 50 millimeter, they're pretty close. Let's do some photos. Wow, it looks like somebody should have watered that plant. Speaking of water, I'd like to thank my sponsor of today's video, Moen. When it comes to shower and faucet installations, nothing beats mowing. They're the best at their business. Mowing, thanks. It's not easy to get solid focus every single time with manual focus. It's easy to get it focused and move around and forget. But still, check out the bokeh in the background. It's got that swirly look to it. The bokeh balls up in the right-hand corner are very angled and it, it kind of starts to look like it's sort of wrapping around in the background here we can see that the shoes got pretty good sharpness and the background's pretty swirly and it looks pretty good so i think one of the keys to this look is that it's almost like the bokeh has the out of focus area almost has like a stigmatism like it just kind of has this double blur almost you can see it in that roof of the house it just gives it a really interesting swirly look here's a shot from earlier today where you can see the background also getting that swirly look to it which gives it this lens a, a just a unique look the lens does not have great contrast or it just the colors are a little more muted compared to say the nifty 50 and it gives it a definitely more low-key kind of lower contrast vintage look check this difference out here's the exact same photo with the canon nifty 50 it's so much and more the color is just so much more intense and brighter sharper and and honestly just a better lens autofocus i mean it's really hard to compare these two and really say the the helios is better it's just got a really interesting effect here's another one with the canon nifty 50 50 millimeter 1.8 and part of what makes the the helios have better bokeh is you got to get closer it makes everything a little more out of focus in the background but also check out that right hand corner look how those bokeh balls change direction they all kind of start pointing and creating a, a circle out there whereas in the original nifty 50 picture there they're the same direction <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for catching up with us on Porch Photography. See you next time.